today is day 306 of the year of streaming and learning to code. We are continuing on with our brief hiatus from the projects, uh, continuing with the Flexbox Froggy website. So we had made it through half of the levels yesterday, through the first 12 of the 24 kind of micro lessons or examples they've got. And something I noticed, hey there, little kitty, what are you doing? What are you looking for the napping position again? Oh, oh my god, that was a not a graceful exit stage right you just pulled off, but uh you're you're like half seated, half not. Can I help you down there, little kitty? No? You you good? God claws. Okay, well. You're good. Okay, there you go. You're laying down. Your tail is still very active, but that's, uh, because you're a cat, so, rightfully so. Let's shimmy you just a bit. Wow, a lot of claws. You're very pretzely right now, little kitty. Just, you assume a regular napping position, one that's not so ridiculous. Okay, that's, that's that. Little kitty's dealt with. Let's quick run down OBS. Webcam, check, mic, check, uh, chat on our phone, and we've got frogginess going on. We're set, we're golden. Okay, so, what were we focusing on? Right, so, after we finished, uh, our stuff yesterday, right before I closed it, it was like, basically as I stopped the stream, I noticed down here, want to learn CSS Grid? Play Grid Garden. So there's a whole other activity site, similar function, 28 levels instead of 24. So we may tack on CSS Grid Garden. Again, we'll probably do half one day, half another. Um, actually, I guess that would be half 14 out of 28, but not, not critical. Uh, so we may, we may do that another well actually probably tomorrow because i was thinking it'd just be these two today first half levels 1 through 12 and then 13 through 24 today but we may we'll probably tack on the css grid garden so this this css adventure uh has been foreseeably extended by two more days which is cool because this stuff has been awesome so far extremely helpful if anyone's trying to get an understanding of flexbox or css stuff and you know what even if you aren't trying to this is still an awesome site and i would highly recommend it so glad we were led to this site it's uh it's been phenomenal and we've only done the first half so without further ado let's commence level 13 day 306 kicking it off from the top Help the frogs find their lily pads using flex direction, justify content, and align items. So, quick rundown. Flex content aligns your x-axis horizontal movement and spacing. Align items is y-axis vertical spacing. And uh, flex direction can, can skew things. It can flip them as needed so good times good good times we need to position our three friends and try and get them home hey yum yum hello to you and mr demon wolf yeah awesome mr demon wolf, i love this game site yeah dude it's a, we did it we started yesterday uh Made it halfway through, and it it's fantastic. It's great. Like, this borderline should be mandatory for everyone. Like, even if you don't do CSS at all, just it's worth learning about. Um, Mr. Dean Wolf, I did this before to learn the godlike thing called Flexbox. I agree. I think it's amazing. It's fantastic. Good, good time. So, so let's do this. Let's kick it off. Uh, we first need, dum 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 dum. I think flex direction is is what I'd like to begin this with. Flex direction. Uh, 
row reverse. Row reverse. Wait. Me and my terrible spelling. Ta-da. Flex direction. Row reverse. Now, below that, we want to do justify content center cool and now we will do align items i think fle uh, flex end if my spidey senses are guiding me in the right direction flex end is it aha yeah take that frogs Boom. Beautiful. Okay. Level 14. One down. Mr. Demon Wolf Flexbox is the best thing ever. It's pretty awesome. It, it really is. Uh, okay. So, sometimes reversing the row or column order of a container is not enough. In these cases, we can apply the order property to individual items. By default, items have a value of zero, but we can use this property to set it to a positive or negative integer value. Use the order property to reorder the frogs according to their lily pads. What? Oh, yellow. Right. Right, right, right. So there we had before we were manipulating everything within the pond now now we are working specifically with mr yellow frog so specify the order of flex items is zero negative one one so where it's currently at i assume is zero i think it's zero so let's make it order one Holy shit, it works. Fucking incredible. Flexbox is amazing. I tell ya. Okay, okay. Typical, typical. Use order property to send the red, uh, red frog straight to hell. Good, good. We'll do that. So, again, assuming red frog is at zero. One, two, three. Negative trace. Order negative three. Ha ha. Yeah, look at that. So negative one. Hmm. I wonder why it doesn't like negative one. Wait, 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 wait. Why? What happens if it's zero? No. What happens if it's one? That works. Negative one. Negative one drags it all the way down. Why did I set it to negative three? Hmm. Maybe I'm crazy. Specify the order of items. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe if there were multiple red frogs, it would matter. Okay. Now, let's do this. I guess I still want to is I still want to put it as negative three. I don't understand why it can't be. I mean, it, negative three works, but damn, damn, damn. We'll see how this goes. Okay, um, all kinds of stuff. Flex block fasting. Yeah, you did it. Yes, celebrating kittens, dog stuff, dogs, <laughs> uh, only cats. Demon puppy. Good, good. <laughs> Mr. Demon Wolf for a fucking PG stream. Uh, did you finish the Free Code Camp projects? Uh, in its entirety, no. We are, we're about, I think, 85-ish percent through the front-end development portion of Free Code Camp. Um, so I really should try to knock that out sooner than later. Uh, I'm trying to 
complete all the projects that Topher hooked us up with. Because those have been just beyond awesome. I, I definitely think that it's been the most, like, real learning, if that makes any sense. Because, again, all the tutorial sites uh, were just kind of guides. Um, but these projects have been awesome. So we finished the Magic 8-Ball. And because we're a third of the way through the 12 projects, finished four, we'll be starting five in a couple days. Uh, we'd been, I'd noticed that I'd been lacking and really struggling out of everything I was doing. I don't know if it counts as oddly enough, but to me, oddly enough, uh, CSS seemed to be where I personally felt like I was struggling the most. I mean, yeah, there was some JavaScript nightmare stuff, but those are more of like, uh, one-time hiccups, uh, unique to each project versus a common theme that I just noticed I sucked at from the beginning was CSS, uh, specifically the alignment stuff. So that's why we're here doing the Flexbox Froggy stuff. And there's also the Grid Garden that I noticed yesterday uh, right after the stream. So we're going to do these two things to come to terms and hone our CSS alignment skills and uh, I think that will help us with the rest of all the projects to come, both here and any other sites uh, we, we tackle or projects we do. So that's all. That's where we currently stand. Um, dee 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 doo doo doo. Uh, doop, 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 Mr. Demos. Uh, we moved off it as he was learning, to, uh, as it was learning too slow. He'd been working on other projects. I don't like free code camp in general. Mr. Demon, to be honest, Tofer case would be better than hell yeah, dude. I and we've sent it to a few people who've asked for the link, um, to uh, these projects because they're just spectacular. I think if anyone need, I mean, if if they were coming from like, uh, square zero, square one, step zero, whatever you want to call it, the very beginning with like zero understanding of code, they could check out, uh. Code Academy, just for the initial, like, what is HTML, like, the basic, basic intro introductory stuff, and then they could immediately jump into these. I think if they were to do the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript course, they'd be able to knock out all of these. There would be no need to go through the entirety of something like Free Code Camp um, to, to be able to tackle these projects. And the learning curve would just, they, their understanding would just skyrocket immediately. So, anywho. Um, D -d 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 -d, that's that. Uh, yum, yum. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, don't like free, okay. Uh, yum, yum. That's free, fo uh, free code camps fault. Uh, they don't even teach CSS. Well, I thought they did have... Because their, their certificates happen, again, you f follow down that one giant path. The initial section is the front-end development, which CSS should be a part of. But then they have the like the data visualization, which I think covers some of the things like CSS and SAS and whatnot. Unless it's just truly how to visualize data. But anywho, um, you know, Code Academy improved a bit. They did. It's actually a pretty different looking sight and feel and we will be returning eventually one day to check out the courses that they updated that we really struggled with because they weren't quite fully polished they were in the transition phase but even just going here you can see it's already i mean it's still got a similar feel but they've improved and updated a, a lot of stuff and just how it works and flows so I'm definitely interested in checking out some of their newer content and updated courses, but we we will get there. Uh, in the meantime, let's let's continue helping our froggy friends. Uh, yum yum, they were a bit buggy. Yes, at at times there were a handful of courses that were <sighs> they they had their own unique quirks, but I I think they they did it a. a fairly substantial update this summer just like a, a month and a couple weeks ago so and clearly we can see all that even from the surface that they've improved quite a bit so i am looking forward to it anywho froggy saving our froggy friend rescue mission 
Uh, another property you can apply to individual items is align self. This property accepts the same values as align items and its value for the specific item. Hmm. So align self takes flex start, flex end, center, baseline, and stretch. Same as that. So are we supposed to apply both? Align item and align self. Oh, align items flex start. So this is just an additional filter where we can drop align self in specifically for the yellow frog because we want all the green frogs at the top and the yellow guy to be at the bottom. Clever, 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 clever. Ah, oh, flex box is awesome. Align items. And we will do flex end, shall we? Ta-da! Be de -de 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 no, no, no. Hold on. Did I spell stuff wrong? Oh, align self. Rookie move, Steven. Rookie move. Bad. No food for Steven. Damn. Align self. Flex end. It was line self. Uh, I'm gonna have to sleep in the hall for the next week. Can't believe me. Combined order with align self to help the frogs to their destinations. Hey, look at that. Okay. So. Hmm. I guess they're at zero. Let's find out. So order. So if order is currently zero, and that's that, but if we move it to one, oh, and negative one, interesting, because there's a whole other thing, it's not within it, but there's dot green, and they're all scattered amongst each other, so all the frogs that are tagged yellow wherever they're currently placed structurally in things, we're grouping them all to the right. It's like a line, it's basically like a line right by doing order one. Interesting. That's what was going on. That's why negative one and negative three were doing, and if you did need to stack beyond a certain point, Maybe if there was another yellow frog that we had to identify to two and whatever, we could do that. Maybe there's a yellow frog with spots. We could specify order two, and that would be further to the right. Interesting. Okay, good to know. Cool. Very cool. Awesome. So that's the first thing down. And then align self. Name, song, and dance. Align self. Dim, 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 dim. Flex and. Yes. Best game ever. This is so cool. Wow, a lot, lot of frogs. A lot of, lot of frogginess. Now, what to do? Oh no, the frogs are all squeezed onto a single row of lily pads. Spread them out using flex wrap. Uh, using the flex wrap property, which accepts the following values. No wrap. Every item fits to a single line. Wrap. Items wrap around to additional lines in a wrap reverse. Items wrap around to additional lines in reverse. Hmm. Okay. So. Let's do this flex wrap wrap so what's flex wrap reverse huh so it 
starts it from the bottom. That's not exactly as reversed as I thought it would be. Interesting. Good to know. Good to know. So, wrap is our solution for this one. Ta-da! dee 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 They all go to froggy heaven. Help this army of frogs from their three ordinary, uh, from their three orderly columns, my bad, they're slightly ordinary, uh, three orderly columns using a combination of flex direction and flex wrap. Okay. Flex direction would be column. So let's do that first. Flex direction. <laughs> column ta -da. wow that is just hard to look at and the next thing we want is flex wrap flex wrap colon wrap like so haha <laughs> even steven could figure it out that's right they thought i'd fail they were slightly right like 83 percent of the time yeah usually it's failure but not this time not this time. So what's the difference here? The two properties, flex direction and flex wrap, are used so often together that the shorthand property flex flow was created to combine them. Huh, who would have known? I know I didn't. Little kitty, did you know? No, you're still napping down there. Good, good. This shorthand property accepts the following values. Uh, of one of the two property. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hold on. I'm throwing in uh, words that aren't there, and the words that are there are getting completely butchered. Focus, Stephen. This shorthand property accepts the value of one of the two properties separated by a space. Okay, so row and wrap with with a space like so. For example, you can use flex flow row space wrap to set the rows and wrap them. Try using flex flow to repeat the previous level. Ask and you shall receive flex flow and row space wrap. Wow. Hmm. Oh, column. That was their example. Just an example case. Monkey see, monkey do leads to failure. Okay. That's that's where we were wrong. Uh, for the last one, we did column and wrap. Ta-da! There we go. There we go. Next, beautiful. Continuing on, the frogs are spread all over the pond. There's a rampant froggy infestation. And amphibious hell. That's basically what we're trapped in. Mind the slime. But the lily pads are bunched at the top. Okay. You can use align content to set how multiple lines are spaced apart from each other. This property takes the following values. Flex start, flex end, center, space between, space around, and stretch. So before... Just to reflect, we were using justify content and align items. Now we're using align content. Fascinating. Sort of. Let's continue on. So flex start, lines are packed at the top of the container. Flex end, lines are packed at the bottom of the container. Uh, center, lines are packed at the vertical. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lines are packed at the vertical center of the container. Hmm. I suppose. Space between lines or uh, lines display with equal spacing between them. Space around lines display with e uh, equal spacing around them. And lastly, stretch. Lines are stretched to fit the container. Okay. This can be confusing, but a line content determines the spacing between lines while align items determines how these items as a whole are aligned within the container. I feel like that's important. We should probably read it again. Uh, but continuing on, when there's only one line, align content has no effect. Okay, so this little bit right here, there should probably be an asterisk. This can be confusing. 
but a line content determines the spacing between lines, while a line items determines how the items as a whole are aligned within the container. Okay, so that's their spot, their positions versus content is the density of them. Fair enough. Uh, also, when there's only one line, a line content has zero purpose in this universe. It just it might as well not even exist if there's only one line. Uh, so currently we need a line content followed by flex start. Flex, not an underscore, just a hyphen, flex start. Ta-da, be dee 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 Dum 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 da dum dum da dum our froggy army is is in perfect formation. Next. Dum 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 da dum dum da dum. Now the current uh has bunched the lily pads at the bottom. We'll call it global warming. And then just shifted all the weather patterns of this little pond. We're all doomed. Use align content to guide the frogs there. What's that little kitty? I think she's dreaming. I feel her shimming around in my lap. But just her arms are covering her face and she's doing kitty things. So we'll let her keep sleeping. Uh, the currents shifted the universe. All the frogs are doomed. How can you save them? Align content. Hmm. Flex end. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. No frog left behind. Holy f What am I supposed to do here? Oh, flex direction. Yeah, good. Good idea. The frogs have had a party but it's time to go home. They're all drunk and none of them can find their lily pads. None of them should be swimming home. They all should have called an Uber. Safety first, frogs. Safety first. Use a combination of flex direction and align content to get them to their lily pads. Okay, so... If we did flex direction column it would swing downwards and the red frogs would be at the top so i think we want to do column reverse so the yellow frogs are at the top since we have to type column first we'll see both play out in front of us flex direction column b so the door swings one direction versus reverse. Ta-da! Versus it swings in the other direction. Now, from here, we want to do... So, align content. Not justify content. Not align items. But align content. Which we want as center, where it smashes everything into the middle. Oh... Wait, crap, we should have used the flex flow, right? We could have used flex flow. I guess it would be column hyphen or a reverse space center. Maybe that'll be the next one. Align content um, center. Ta-da, B D D D D D. Next. Okay, here we go. Saka. Okay, of course, level 24 is uh, n needlessly difficult. All right, bring the frogs home one last time by using the CSS properties you've learned. Justify content. Align items. Flex direction, order, align self, flex wrap, flex flow, and align content. Damn, damn, damn. <clears throat> okay, so.
How do we want to do this? Pond. I think, hold on, hold on, they swing down, so flex direction, uh, direction, watch this, flex direction is uh, um, stuff. Flex wrap, right? No, 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 not, 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 uh, we will be wrapping, but flex, flex direction, um, column reverse, we just did that. Column reverse. Wait, reverse. We want... So when it's reverse, align items normally does left to right. So now we want justify content to be flex start. Flex start. Um, no, 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 uh, justify content, justify content, flex, start, damn. Oh, flex end? No, 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 no. Hold on. X end. This is brutal. That's what it is. I was wrong. So, justify content is left to right normally horizontal and align items is vertical but because we did column and reverse uh moving to column changed changed the justify content moving to the right to align items and and now flex set versus flex start See, see, is that the beginning? So end is what we need. And that's the reverse portion. If it was just columns, I think we'd be able to... And it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. So now the next bit is flex. It's either flex flow or flex wrap. I think... I think... It's flex wrap... Wrap, reverse, wrap, wrap, God, see, we're getting there. We're so close, and... Maybe it's flex flow. Because align content, I think it ends with align content stretch. So, flex flow, flex wrap, no wrap, wrap and wrap reverse. Wrap reverse.
Center stretch. Stretch. Um, align content stretch. Damn. Maybe it's maybe baseline is for when you have two things. Maybe base death. Enter. Flex something. Fuck. So close. Flex flow. So. So align self stretch versus enter baseline. Line self baseline center flex end. There's a way to do this. Maybe wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's just space between. Space between would separate them all the way across. Justify content, align items, order, align content, space between, yeah. Which means we need to change to um flex flow but align content space between tada okay so the last bit is flex flow which is flex direction and flex wrap. Flex direction column reverse. And flex wrap wrap reverse. So we can take this. Cut. Flex flow. Space. Column reverse wrap reverse. Items align. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Align items. Flex. Start? I don't even know if we need this. I don't think we even need that. We, we do need to center content so call a uh, column reverse and then wrap reverse jesus okay uh column reverse wrap reverse followed by center we need a line content with space between align items Flex. 
What if we do center? I don't even think we need that. So we have just that with those two, but we need two more. Align self center. Let's try that. Align self center. Oh, wait, why did the yellow ones move? That's better. Space between. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. Death, death, death. We're so close. Death. Okay. Just, uh, just like content, aligns items along the main, maybe that's what we need. Maybe that's, that's what we need. Justify content. Ta-da! Center. Now, wait a second. Why, why was I able to pull it off in three lines? Isn't there supposed to be four? What if they're tricking us? Because you know how it's supposed... Well, clearly it's supposed to be difficult-ish. What if there doesn't actually need to be a fourth line? What if it's only supposed to be three? Flex flow. Column reverse wrap. That's it in its full glory. See, look at this. We get rid of that. We get rid of this. And we get rid of that. So. All the frogs are up top. When we do flex flow, column reverse, and wrap reverse, we implement that. Boom. It swings it down and wraps it. And when it's just wrap, it goes in that direction. So wrap, reverse, like so. And then I'd actually like to move this above. But... So then when we do center, justify content center, it's aligning it from the green frogs to the yellow, uh, yellow frogs, like so. And then space between stretches everything. Align content, space between, ta da. B -d 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 -d. I think that's everything. Let's go ahead and do next. Submit. Ta da. B -d 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 -d. Cool, cool. What? There's a tree. Oh, Treehouse is the sponsor. I thought that was another game. Boo. They tricked me. Looking forward to some treehouse fun, but yes, treehouse is is on our potential uh, roadmap, far far down the line. Anyways, Flexbox Froggy, you win thanks to your mastery of Flexbox. You were able to help all of the frogs to their lily pads. Just look how hoppy they are. Uh, get happy, but hoppy. Be happy, damn it. That's as good as these jokes are gonna get. Uh, if you found this riveting, oh, this is, this is fantastic. Good, good. Riveting. Be sure to visit Grid Garden, which we will most certainly do tomorrow, uh, to learn about another powerful new feature of CSS Layout. You can also check out my other projects on my blogs or Twitter. Hell yeah, blog life and Twitter. Want to keep learning while supporting Flexbox Froggy? Try out the top-notch web design coding courses offered by Treehouse. And be sure to uh, share Flexbox Froggy with your friends.
free house. Black. Hello. What happens if I click said tweet? Good, good. Well, we can we can tweet that when we are done here. Uh, putting TV cluster out of sight. Learning grid with grid garden. Awesome, awesome. Cool, cool. Yay, Twitter. Good times. And lastly, treehouse stuff, which we have seen. We can consider... We still have so much to do at all of our other sites and current projects, but nevertheless, we succeeded with the following. We close out of that, that, and this. We'll be sure to, to tweet our success and uh, share share the awesomeness that is Flexbox Froggy. Way cool. That brings us to an end for day three. 106 of the year of streaming learning code thank you again to anyone and everyone who stopped by to view the stream today we had yum yum and mr demon wolf and thank you to anyone else who may have accidentally stumbled in here to view the stream any and all views are greatly greatly appreciated uh we will be stopping the stream day 306 comes to an end only 59 more days to go for our ridiculous adventure uh, for the year of streaming and learning to code day 307 coming up tomorrow in the meantime are you sure you want to stop the stream hell yeah kill it